What's new in Charlie's? What's new in Charlie's? Still on Main. Hi, welcome to another edition of What's New at Charlie's. Tonight we're going to be opening up a what's become a uh, start of winter holiday tradition. From High West Distillery, it's their Midwinter Night's Dram. Uh, this one is um, Act 9, so this is the ninth year they've done it. Um, it's, it's really picked up quite a following. Um, I mean, everybody asks about the Pappy, when's it coming out? Everybody asks about that. But right behind it now is this Midwinter's uh, Night Dram. A lot of people ask about it, a lot of people looking for it every year. It's getting harder and harder to find. Um, it's just hit town. It's probably in a store near you right now, and it won't be there for long. So if you get a chance, uh, well, we're going to let you know if you, if you get a chance to come taste it. But I have a feeling from my past experiences with this product, it's going to be quite tasty. Um, so before we open this year's, I couldn't do it without my good friend, Mr. Don Williams, the Bourbon Fool, Executive Bourbon Steward. How you doing tonight, Don? Good, Charlie, and uh, I, I'm excited. We keep finding different spots at Charlie Still in Maine to do this video. Yeah, so, yeah. We uh, try to show the place off a little bit. and uh, yeah. we, we do. So this one. But I've noticed we've settled into the comfy bar chairs yeah, well, as opposed to the hard chairs that we started this project on. Whenever uh, easy is always good. Exactly, exactly. Don, what do you know about this stuff, man? Well, what I uh, just found out is it's uh, the only ski in distillery gastro uh, distillery gastro distillery in the world in the world so park that, city utah that's pretty cool and the only time i've ever been to utah was skiing in park city really uh a, quite a long time ago but maybe before their time yeah before their time for sure 98.6 <laughs> uh, proof and this is their rendezvous rye product which is a blend of two ryes, one sourced from MGP, a very high rye, and then one a little bit lower percentage rye that they do uh, themselves at High West. And then they finish it in port wine, French port wine barrels. Uh, it's uh, their idea of uh, Christmas is, you know, kind of some fruit, some dried fruit, some uh, pudding type flavors. And so it'll be interesting to see how this act came out. Uh, it's really uh, something that has put them on the map. Uh, their other uh, main product is, uh, what's the name of it? American They're, Prairie Bourbon. American Prairie the Bourbon. Rendezvous Rise. And uh, um, the they, they got some other special edition stuff that we have here at Charlie's. The Campfire, the uh, Yippie Kaye. Uh, they got some great products. They've done a fantastic job of distinguishing themselves uh, out of that whole, you know, that Western market of whiskey distillers. And, and the other thing that I found out was pretty cool is uh, they sourced some product from our good friends at Bardstown Bourbon Company. Too. Really? That I did not know. So, but, the, yeah. you know, we talked about that at the first video, that Bardstown opened up to be, to, to make whiskey for other people. Um, that was what, that was their original plan. That's what they started doing. And then they just squirreled a little bit away for themselves, and then here they are doing some fantastic stuff. Um, but yeah, let's get this open. Let's see what it's all about. It has a beautiful color to it. Uh, probably some of the port, I would guess, some of the darkness on it. Yeah. Uh, we don't really have an age statement for this, if I remember right. Um, so we don't really know how old it is or how long it's been aged. Um, they're a little hush-hush on all the details on this. Great color. Great really? color, man. You can just tell by looking at it. It's, uh, you know, and like I said, uh, this is something, you know, that I've been familiar with I, for for a long time. I've, I think I've had all of them, maybe not Act 1 or 2, uh, but I've been following it ever since for them, and I've never had a bad one. So with that being said, cheers. Definitely the spicy rye there, right up front. It it definitely is a winter type bourbon. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I'll give you a little hug going down. Little hug, um, and uh, I just called it a bourbon. I didn't mean that. Um, we'll forgive you. The interesting thing is the port really 
adds a sweetness to it. Sure. So you get a, a very strong contrast of sharp rye spice, and then it smooths out. It's sweet. It's got a lot of fruit, and I was expecting a lot of dark fruit, but there's some cherry coming out. Yeah. Um, I keep thinking pudding, but I don't know if it's because I just read it or you said it. It's, well, <laughs> it's there. It, yeah. it, it, it's there. Yeah, it's, it's, it's there. It's what they're trying to... It, you know what it, uh, what it reminds me a little bit of? What's is that? the cherry bounce I made. Oh, yeah, 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 absolutely. But no, that's got a great flavor to it. Just got a, yeah, like you said, the little sweetness from the pork, the spice of the rye. Um. So one thing that we've run into recently is we are reviewing a lot of barrel finished product. Yeah. Yep. And I was trying to think back of who really came to market first with specifically a barrel finished wine, you know, finished in a wine barrel. Yeah. And the one that I I date back far enough is Angel's Envy. I, I was going to say Angel's Envy is the first I knew that started, you know. And so uh, Lincoln Henderson, that was his thing, you know, the forecast for the... Right. For Angel's Envy. And I think his first release was 2006, and I really can't come up with anybody who did it before then. There I, probably was, but no no one has done as much as with it as Angel's Envy has. And, you right. know, and then other people have just taken it to the nth degree. Just, you know, keep building it up. Well, what was the one? We had one that was in there for a year or more. So, you know, everyone's a little different. We don't know how long this was in the uh, forecast, but it definitely shines through. Um, and that rye's got a big, bold rye bite to it. So the shine through, it's, it's, it's been in there a bit. So, so now that it's opened up a little bit, there's a little bit of, there's a little bit of spicing, like, like nutmeg. Yeah. And really, it's a pretty complex drink. It's yeah. actually pretty interesting. Yeah. Uh, non-chill filtered, correct? That's what it we found out? It is non-chill filtered, yep, yep. So at 98.6, no need to, no need to chill it anymore or to filter it anymore. But yeah, no, it's a great, uh, a great holiday drink, huh? And if you like spicy rye whiskey uh, with a little mellowing to it, this is really a good choice. I think if we left some of this out for Santa, it'd probably be all right, huh? Yeah. I think it would be okay. I think he'd skip the cookies. Beats cookies, right? Right. Exactly. So yeah. Well, very good, Charlie, and. Uh, uh, how many of these do you have at Charlie still on? I got a couple. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, I think I still got some Act Eight left here, and this is Act Nine. The rest are sold out. Um, but they go fast. People love it, uh, and I see why now. Uh, it's a fantastic drink. Um, great for the holidays or probably pretty much any time else. Let's be honest. So, yeah, but yeah. It, it really, really, it shines in cold weather. It, it really, really does. does. It really does. Yeah. Well, great job, High West. Uh, keep up the good work. Keep sending some stuff our way, and uh, we'll keep drinking it here at Charlie's. Cheers, Thanks. everybody. Cheers. Charlie's still on